Hey everyone, I know this is a bit late, but whatever, I just want to talk about Top Gun Maverick. I was really, really excited for this movie. I actually hadn't seen the original Top Gun until I heard that there was a new one coming out, which was just, I didn't even realise until earlier this year, so I hadn't seen the original Top Gun until not that long ago, and I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. It was cheesy as shit, but so fucking what? It was so much fun. The reviews for this movie were so, like, ridiculously high and so unbelievably positive. Like, I was thinking, how the hell do they make a sequel to Top Gun and have it be this well regarded? So I was really, really excited. I went to the theatres, I watched the movie, and my expectations were exceeded by about 10 times. This was really, really, really good. I, I cannot I went in with high expectations, but the fact that this movie just, like, you know, my expectations are here and it was just like, shoo, like, I was like, what the fuck? This, f for me, like, this is possibly a perfect movie. There's not a single thing, not a single line of dialogue that I would change, not a single shot that I would cut down. Uh, it, it's so good. It's unbelievable. I thought Tom Cruise was absolutely fantastic and he's just did so well in this and his humble portrayal, like he's got, you know, getting picked on at the pub and stuff like that. Like, it's so different from like, you know, I, I was expecting him to be a really arrogant prick. Like, you know, Mr. Cool Guy, but he's not. He's like, you know, this old guy that's losing, you know, popularity. And the way he's treated, he's always treated like a piece of dirt. I'm not, I'm not saying that's, you know, a good thing, but I'm just saying that it is good that he's allowed himself to be portrayed that way. And I think he was just fantastic in this movie. Miles Teller as Goose's son was terrific. Really, really good. He was very, very good. I liked him quite a lot in Whiplash. I think he was better in this. I... Wow. Wow. This movie has a really, really good plot to it too. I thought it was just so intriguing, so well handled, and like the conflict between Mav and Rooster was just done so well, and the way they eventually had to learn to work with each other, it's just, oh, it was so well done. The flight and action sequences in this movie were just, what? How the hell did they do this shit? Like, this is 2022 and I'm sitting here watching planes go brrrr, like, holy shit. Like, it is unbelievable. Absolutely incredible. I cannot praise this movie's action sequences enough. There's multiple callbacks to the first movie, but I think it was done in a way that never felt too sentimental. I thought that was excellent. And I've already mentioned it, but the stuff on ground was really, really well written and endearing. This movie was also pretty funny too. I found it quite funny. Some of the jokes, yeah, they were cheesy, but they were fun cheesy. Like, they were good cheesy. The stakes were high for this movie. This was, above all, a suspenseful movie. Especially in the third act. I didn't blink for the entire third act. I legitimately thought that, like, you know, there was no way that they could survive this. And the, the way that it's handled and the way that everything just comes to and comes to an end. I, I thought that it was just so good. And yes, it does kind of go off the rails. There is kind of a scene in like the middle of the third act where it's kind of like, wait, what? But I don't know, it was fun. I thought it was great. I don't care if like, you know, it didn't make a whole lot of sense or whatever, because it was funny, it was entertaining, it was unexpected, it was great. I absolutely think that this is one of the best movies of the 21st century, I would put it in my top 5 favourite movies of the 21st century. I've seen this movie twice in theatres now, and I don't know how much longer it's got to go, but I would just love to see it again and again and again and again and again and again, and I don't think I could get tired of it, and it is a movie that I am absolutely going to give five stars to. Thanks very much for watching my review of Maverick. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the movie too, because Jesus Christ, it was good. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.